So, good morning. This is John Curry from Tegon Remedies, and today I'm joined by my lovely wife, Ellen, who is herself a former tinnitus sufferer. And we're going to be talking about the sounds, the noises that you will hear if you have been exposed to, um, to loud noises. So, um, those, you know, this is to try and help you determine that if, if you know if your your tinnitus has been caused from uh, being exposed to loud noise, so without further ado, let me give you over to Helen. Hi, uh, I'm going to list and try and describe as many as the no of the noises that I can uh, that one would experience as a result of noise damage. Many people describe the noise they hear as a ringing in the ears. However, we all know that that's a very generalized term and it can be much more clearly defined. For example, one might experience a hissing sound, a buzzing sound, a chirping sound, a whistling or even a roaring sound. Some even describe it as a shrieking sound. However, the most common sound that one would hear is normally buzzing or chirping. For example, uh, listening to crickets or cicadas on a warm summer evening. Mm -hmm. Then there's the high frequency static noise that bothers everyone so much. And this is can be described to a radiator letting off steam, even the kettle boiling. Um, in days gone by, many people described it as a radio or TV that wasn't correctly tuned to the station. So once again, as I say, these are um, some of the, and the majority of the noises that one would hear. And in closing, it is important to remember that these noises are subjective. So what I describe as a hissing or roaring or whistling sound may be completely different to you, and you may describe it as a ringing sound. Okay, thanks, Helen. Um, I would just like to remind you that uh, below this video, immediately below the video, there will be a little link that has been posted. And, and that'll take you to a page on our website that deals specifically with um, tinnitus that has been caused uh, from exposure to loud noise. It's also called totally damaged tinnitus. Uh, also, uh, when, when you're there, um, I would uh, encourage you to download Helen's uh, book. It's 250 pages, and it has been written by Helen. It took her a long, long time to do it. And uh, it is the book that most other people, uh, are, are, you know, a lot of people have tried copying it and, and are selling it for $39 and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, you don't need to go and buy any of those books because uh, this one you can download free. And we also have a, a, a toll-free number that you can uh, call and you'll speak to Ellen. And uh, she will do her best to help you. There'll be no sales uh, pitch or anything. Um, but she certainly will help you a lot with tinnitus support, which many people need. Uh, it's, it's quite a, a debilitating condition. So, and remember to su subscribe to our channel because we're going to have a whole series of these videos and you'll be able to get an enormous amount of knowledge about the condition which will help you to control it. Okay, so that's all from me. Thanks and goodbye.